and welcome to your gold market update charts of the day it's the 12th of september 2023 mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the asian session let's look across the news overnight we saw a strong session in the u.s market generally to on a short-term support on the major indices all finishing in positive territory and remaining in short-term range uh, today u.s futures have been just below neutral for most of the session so far in Asia, uh, but it does look as though there may be just a little buying in as we approach the top of the range. Asian markets have been mixed most of the day despite that US lead. The ASX has recently turned positive and is now 0.15% to the upside, significantly off the lows of the session. European futures are pointing to a cautious open and the VIX was down again yesterday and nears those pre-pandemic lows. US dollar index reversed from the six month highs. It is slightly softer this morning. Uh, gold continues to sit over that 200 EMA, though it hasn't moved much. But copper did bounce significantly from those three week lows and looks reasonably bullish in Asia as well. Oil is pausing at resistance, but looks as though it might retest that today. Looks as though there's a ascended triangle formation occurring on the daily chart on the WTI CFD contract. Bitcoin didn't have a good day, breaching 25,600 support that we've been referencing regularly of late, and it moved through the 200 EMA on significant selling to hit its lowest level since early June in terms of a close. On the data front, we've got UK jobs, Chinese loan information, and German economic sentiment out today. It's another fairly quiet day, sort of the calm before the storm, if you like, because we have got that US CPI data out tomorrow, and then the ECB rate decision on Thursday. There's also a US 10 year Treasury auction tonight, which may be of interest. There's usually a flutter in yields subsequent to that, and also the US dollar. So that may be noteworthy. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. There's some interesting action on the GB pound US dollar in the short term. And you can see here we actually had a really rough end to the end of the US session there, but there seems to be some buying coming into Asia, and we have a level of interest which it looks as though it may have breached at around about this 125.15 level. You can see this latest candle here is poking above that if we just bring it in a little bit like so. Uh, what this means is that we could have the highs from yesterday as a potential target around this 125.50. So a possible 35 tip move to hit that level. And if we take the chart back a little further, you can see if we do breach that 125.50 level, then the move up to 126 looks relatively clear. And so either of those potential trades could be of interest. Looking at the ASX, gold stocks have performed reasonably well today, but West Gold is by far and away the outperformer. We were at this price point a couple of days ago intraday, uh, but failed to hold it and move back to that resistance at 173. So a failure to break through. And then yesterday also, but you can see today, we are at 179. If we can hold this into the close, it's a technical breakout. So that's certainly one to watch into the last hour to see what happens with price. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.